Um, and then we're going to compare two workflows. One is bills and pay bills, right? That workflow goes together. And the other one is write check. I think write check is easier to understand. So I'm going to start with write check. So I'm going to click right there on the bottom right where it says write check. I'm going to click on that. And write check, it's a function used for you to record any type of bank transaction. So any type of bank expenditure, any type of money coming out of your bank, right? Of your checking account, savings account, petty cash account. So any type of monies or payment coming out of my bank account, whether it's a check or a debit card or a wire transfer or an ACH in QuickBooks is called write check. Now let me go ahead and write a check to um, this vendor here. And I'm going to put here a hundred dollars and then down here under expense, I'm going to choose the category, let's say it's utilities. So, so if I hit save and close in here, what I'm doing is I'm recording an expense and I'm also immediately taking the money from the bank. So right check records an expense and pays it immediately. Now up here where it says check number, that's where you put the actual check number that you're writing. But if you don't have a check uh, that you're paying this with because you're paying this via ACH or a debit card or a wire transfer, again, a different way that money comes out of the bank that is not a check, then what you do is instead of putting a number there, I'll just put, type the word wire, okay? Or put a W, right? Whatever is easier for you. Or put the word, or put, just put a D for debit card transaction or write the word debit, right? Um, so unfortunately, QuickBooks doesn't have a separate um, transaction uh, window for a debit card or a wire transfer or an ACH or an electronic payment from the bank. So it uses write check for every type of bank transaction coming out of the bank. So let's go ahead and put that check number again there. And, um, and then let's continue and we'll do save and close. So what we did was with write check is we created an expense and we immediately uh, paid it. Now, pay bills and enter bills is a little bit different. So that same Bayshore water uh, expenditure, I can make it with pay bills. I mean, sorry, with enter bills. But with what enter bill will do, notice that nowhere here, I can choose uh, where I'm paying from. Nowhere in this screen, I'm telling it what bank account I'm paying from because I'm actually not paying. A bill is not a payment. A bill is entering an expense today that I'm going to be paying in the future. In accounting terms, that is called accounts payable. So a bill is for me to record a future payment of a current expense. <laughs> no, that's a little bit confusing. So the expense happened today or this month or this period and the payment will happen later. And, and the nice thing about using bill and bill pay instead of write check is that I can control in which month my expense shows up regardless of when I pay it. Right? That's the concept of accrual accounting is that Whenever the bill exists, that's when the expense exists. And when the payment goes out, that could have an entirely different date. So I'm going to go here to base your water, and then we'll put this one for, uh, let's say, $2,000. And then we'll put their utilities, and then we'll hit um, save and close. And um, I'm just going to show you a profit and loss report for that same day so we can actually see how these transactions reflect on the report. And let me do a profit and loss just for one day. Right? So that, that one day that I did the transactions. And then I'm going to go down here to utilities. And I'm going to look at all my utilities expenses, which are, in this case, $300. So I'm going to go ahead and click on those $300, double click. And then I see both of my transactions. I see, let me make this font a little bigger. I think it will be useful um, for people looking at this on a, on a little screen here. So um, usually to make the font uh, bigger, you right click. And, uh, and change the font size, right? So I'm going to change the font size here to 11 and hit OK, and that should be easier to see. So we see $100 here and $200 here, and one was a check and one was a bill. Now, when I look at this report, let me go back to my profit and loss, I have $300 worth of utilities. Why? Because I got a bill and a check. But this is an accrual-basis report, okay? Um, if I was to switch this to a customized report, I'm going to click on Customize Report and switch this from accrual to cash. And there'll be another section on reports, so I won't get into too much detail about that. But I'm going to switch that to accrual to cash and hit OK. And then I'm only going to see now $100 worth of utilities. 
because the other $200 was a bill and that hasn't been paid yet. So that's the difference between cash and accrual and guarantee you there'll be another video and we'll spend a lot more time talking about those two. But that is in contrast, the difference between doing a write check and a, and a bill. Now, I still have to pay this bill. Now, what I never want to do is use the write checks function to pay an outstanding bill because if I try to do that, so I'm going to go to write checks and I'm going to click on or select pay short water. QuickBooks is actually going to warn me. It's going to give me a big warning that says, warning, you should not be using the write checks function to pay a bill because you're going to record an expense being paid immediately and you're going to ignore that outstanding payment from the, uh, sorry, the outstanding uh, bill or the outstanding accounts payable from that bill and my bill is going to stay open forever and my expenses will be duplicated and this whole thing's going to be a mess. Now, most QuickBooks users say, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. And they hit okay and they ignore the window and they just keep going and they put the $200 and that causes the issue. So if you are going to pay a bill, if you're going to create a bill before and you're going to pay it later, you have to make sure that you actually use the pay bills um, option, right? And you can use the pay bills option to to pay with a check. That's totally okay. So I can I can write a check, right, with uh, the pay bills function, but I'm not going to click on the write check window. I'm going to click on pay bills. And the only difference is that the screen looks a little bit different and I select it. And then down here at the bottom, I can select the date of the check that I'm writing all the way in the bottom left. And then I can check that, yes, I'm paying with a check. And then I can assign the check number like we did last time and then click pay selected bills. And that in a nutshell is how you finish the workflow. And I'll put the check number here. That's how I finish the workflow of using a bill and then pay bill to pay it. So again, in a nutshell, um, you can, you are allowed to pay a bill with a check, but we're going to click on pay bills, not write check because write check is to make an expenditure that's going to be paid immediately and enter bills is to record an expenditure that's going to be paid later and that's going to be paid with the pay bills function.